The year is 1630. The infamous poem to remember the fates of each of Henry VIII's wives would have been in circulation for at least 83 years, Guy Fawkes had both tried and failed with his terrorist plots, and the Mayflower would have touched down on American soil some 10 years prior, containing the initial 102 plus crew pilgrims to colonise the New World. In filmic terms, we are dropped into a similar era, give or take 10 years, to that of Witchfinder General and a field in England. Welcome to the Witch. It's witchcraft! Banished from their plantation in New England due to the crime of prideful conceit, William, played by Ralph Inson, and Catherine, played by Kate Dickey, along with their five children, build a new home for themselves a day's ride away on the borders of a large ominous forest. After a few months of settling in time, the family appear to be adapting to their new surroundings, when one day their eldest daughter Thomason, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, is playing with her newly born brother Samuel, who then suddenly vanishes almost instantly from under her nose. Is the child's disappearance the work of witchcraft from an enchantress in the woods, someone within the family, or is the power of the mind combined with their fundamentalist beliefs the cause? Debutant writer-director Robert Eggers deserves a great deal of credit for creating a film which manages to tease out a reaction from every single sense which cinema can exploit. The aspect ratio is 1 to 1.66, which is a rarity in modern cinema, as it manages to narrow the width in order to extend the height of the picture. In you come. Up you go. This enabled the cinematographer Jarin Blasch to frame the locations such as the forest and the interior of the home in such a way that makes them much more domineering and claustrophobic to viewers. Blasch's visuals are stunningly seductive, and although the colour palette is dark, damp and brooding, they enhance the richness of the story on every level. This is certainly a film which looks beautifully grim. With a relatively unknown cast in cinematic terms, the ensemble manages to produce a series of flawless performances. Ralph Inson, who 99% of the public will know from playing Finchie in The Office, one up the bum, no harm done, is magnificent, and he has a voice which makes Tom Waits sound like Mickey Mouse, and you just have to ask yourself why he hasn't been cast in horror films prior to this, because it is a match made in heaven. Major plaudits also have to go to newcomers Anya Taylor-Joy and her on-screen brother Caleb, played by Harvey Scrimshaw, who both deliver performances way beyond their years. If the two of them are able to maintain these standards for all their future roles, then we may well be looking at two extreme stars of the future. The most enjoyable thing about The Witch is that it's a film which isn't scared to take its time. Eggers isn't afraid to let certain scenes play out and mellow in a horror-like cask, which then results in the audience scrutinising the actions of the various characters as they begin to act as a detective in order to find the root cause of the sinister occurrences. The current climate of the horror genre has to be regarded as something as being a bit stagnant, especially due to its predictability and over-reliance on jump scares. <laughs> It's so refreshing to have a film like The Witch make its way onto our cinema screens because it's not only intelligent, but it's also very original. If you could take the essence of The Crucible, The Shining, and The Devils, put them all in a blender with a good old dash of Eggers originality, you would get something similar to The Witch. I think it's a wonderfully visceral film which will stay with audience members long after they've left the cinema. And personally, I just cannot wait until I get to see my second screening. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to click subscribe at the bottom. Check out our Facebook and Twitter pages and also our podcast, and we'll hopefully see you again soon. Bye.